The Vancouver 2010 Paralympic Games. Hopefully, things will keep progressing. Next up, Paquita Ramirez, Capitan from Andorra. Looking to improve on her 12th position from the first run. Following her guide, Manel Fernandez Flores. She's been skiing for about six years now. after she suffered an illness which left her with a visual impairment. She's in the B2 category, that's the middle of the three visually impaired categories. If you saw our coverage of the first run, you'll know that the B1s have no vision whatsoever and they have to wear blacked out goggles just to prevent any light sneaking in the b3s may have some peripheral vision and the b2s somewhere in between but all three categories are required to have a guide which is absolutely crucial as you might imagine the microphones there on both guide and athlete it's generally the guy doing most if not all of the talking But the athletes and the guides have had the chance to inspect the course. And this is, of course, their second run of the two. So they'll know it a bit. They'll have it mapped out in their heads. And Paquita skiing pretty nicely. No mistakes there. Speeding up for the finish. And she, for the moment, is leading. It's in the course. The last competitor now. The Andorran, Javi Fernandez Vasquez, and another Category 10 athlete here. Made his debut in the 2004 World Championships in Austria. Speaks Spanish, Catalan, French, and a little English. He's an emergency operator for the fire service back home in Andorra. And likes quad biking in the mountains, swimming, archery, tennis and hand biking. So keeps himself pretty f And as long as he successfully completes the lower reaches of this course, 51 gates on Franz's slalom then he'll be back this afternoon for the all-important second run coming down to complete the crowd showing their appreciation not just for Javi but for a fantastic morning of alpine skiing they've been in fine voice all day long
guys.